after seeing Kobe jump over a speeding Aston Martin in a viral video. We brought in ballsy stuntman Damien Poitier to see if it can really be done. But his first two rehearsals didn't go so well. Smack. Yep. Your head goes boom, down. Da -boom, da -boom, da -boom. Ugliness all around. Yeah. Damien thinks the simulated reality of the rehearsal is what's holding him back. If the jump really mattered, if the car were really coming at him, he says he'd make it. Something this tricky, it's got to be, we're going. Right. If the car's coming at me, I'm not playing. I'm jumping over the car. So that's the way we have to do it. All right, if you feel confident about yes. it, only if you feel absolutely no, confident. You're the professional. If you want to do it, let's do it. I'm ready. We'll do it. Mm -hmm. It's do or die time. This is the most nerve wracking thing we've ever done. I mean, this is the riskiest experiment by a long shot. If the stunt goes terribly wrong, we've got emergency personnel standing by in an ambulance. This one's for real. Let's say a prayer. This is for real. This is for real. Everybody's rolling. And three, two, one, go. Do not try that at home. All right. <laughs> so how did Damien do it? To time this correctly, Damien had to jump when the car was exactly 24 feet away. But it takes the brain a quarter of a second to react to visual stimuli. So Damien had to decide to jump when the car was 44 feet away. That means Damien had to time this stunt down to one hundredth of a second. With no margin for error, getting this stunt right on the first try without getting killed is virtually impossible. Which is why it's time for a sports science confession. We led you to believe that Damien jumped over the car just like Kobe. But Kobe faked it. And so did we. So the gig is up. We faked the whole thing. Yeah. It was not real. We faked the whole thing. So in rehearsal, no matter how many times we tried, there's just no way to get the timing right. You get high enough, right. but the timing is impossible. Kobe didn't do it. You didn't do it. What I think we should do is show everybody a behind the scenes look at what it takes to make it look like someone's jumping over a moving car. That's exactly what we do in the stunt world. It's creating this illusion. So let's do that. Let's do it. So how did we manage this sleight of hand? We filmed Damien jumping over the car. But to keep him safe, he got a little extra boost from a harness connected to a 40-foot crane. All right, well, let's, let's get this done. Getting yeah, kind of hungry. You ready to do this? Yeah. This is for real. Are you sure? Yes. Here you go. Wow, that looks pretty damn. All right, so save that one. Then, using a process called rotoscoping, our digital effects team went through the sequence frame by frame to paint out Damien's harness wires. 
The final product is an illusion worthy of internet startup. That's how we did it, and that's how Kobe did it too. So don't any of you get any incredibly stupid ideas and try this for real. I know they say it all the time, but seriously, do not try this at home. This is not something you should ever try to do. Even the pros won't attempt something so reckless. Because sometimes special effects are the only way to make the impossible appear possible. It's one of sports' all-time viral videos. Kobe Bryant jumps over a speeding Aston Martin. You saw it, I saw it, and we all know there's no way Kobe or anyone else could do it for real. Or could they? Last season, we saw legendary streetballer Skywalker use his insane 50-inch vertical to get up over a car parked in the paint. But what if that car were moving? It would suddenly turn things from risky to the most dangerous stunt we've ever tried to pull off. If anyone's up for the challenge, it's a guy who risks life and limb for a paycheck. Hollywood stuntman, Damien Poitier. Damien's performed stunts in countless movies, and he's a specialist in fights, falls, and testing the limits of the human body. Skills that may come in handy, considering what he's about to do. Today, we're going to attempt to jump over an Ashton Martin. In terms of actual risk, this will be the riskiest thing I've ever attempted. Damien's going to try to jump over an Aston Martin, going 55 miles an hour. To avoid becoming roadkill, he's going to need to get up at least 48 inches to clear the car. That's getting up as high as the planet's elite leapers. And our functional assessment of biomechanic sensors revealed that Damien's able to get up and then tuck his legs to get an amazing 52 inches above the ground. I think he'll be able to clear it. I think he has the, the height to clear it. Right. It's the timing now. Damien's got the hops. But the timing is what makes this experiment so potentially deadly. With this type of thing, it's timing. Anything goes wrong with my timing, it's over. So Damien, question is, do you actually have the balls to do it? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and there's only one way for us to find out. Let's do it. You ready to do it? <laughs> Let's do it. In the parking lot outside the lab, Damien's opponent awaits the Aston Martin Vantage. With 420 horses under the hood, this V8 Roadster can go from zero to 60 in under five seconds. Hollywood stunt legend Doug Coleman will be our lead foot with a cool head. And veteran Hollywood stunt coordinator James Liu will oversee every aspect of this incredibly dangerous stunt. You've seen James's work in movies like Rush Hour and Tropic Thunder. Well, first we're gonna have to drive by with the car running on the side of him, just get the timing down with the speed of the car, his timing of the jump. All right, here we go, we're doing a rehearsal. Ready, Doug? Yep. And three. Two, one, go. Oh. 
Play it back, Andy. The first rehearsal jump went, well, let's just be glad it was a rehearsal. I'm already coming down. Yeah, I jumped too early. Jump way too early. Yeah. Smack. Yep. Your head goes boom, down. Da -boom, da -boom, da -boom. Ugliness all around. Yeah. You got to jump later. Right. Favor later. Later better. Later better. Got Later's it. better. At 55 miles an hour, the car's traveling one foot every one hundredth of a second. So Damien needs to leave the ground when the car's exactly 24 feet away. If he can't perfectly synchronize the peak of his jump with the top of the car passing underneath him, he'll splat like a bug on a windshield. He has to get the timing. Otherwise, if he hesitates, not even a split second, right. that car's on him. Let's calibrate this. Let's get this. I think that was it. I think that was it. I think that was it. Get those feet up. Get those feet up. Get them up. Get them up. You're off by like three inches. Close, but close won't cut it. Had this been the real thing, Damien would have hit the top of the windshield and then spit off the car. Yet, even though both rehearsals went poorly, Damien wants to go for it. I got it. You got it? Yeah. The variance and the timing and everything like that and the speed, when the car's coming at me, you, you, I'll time it out. I mean, this is right, like... Right, so I, I have my timing now. I know when I need to go. I got yeah. it with the speed. I'm ready to go. All right, You're, if you feel confident about yes. it, only if you feel absolutely no, confident. Do you feel good with this? I feel confident in his ability. If he feels good with it, that's the most important part. At a certain point, you over-rehearse something. If the car's coming at me, I'm not playing. I'm jumping over the car. I, so that's the way we have to do it. You're the professional. If you want to do it... Let's do it. Will Damien be able to step up his game and soar over the car? Or will our paramedics need to scrape him off the asphalt? This one's for real. Say a prayer. <laughs> Oh my God.